Okay, looks like it is uh, time for our personal development uh, go-to meeting. This is Dan Ringwald, your host here. Um, and it's uh, November 18th, and what you'll see from the uh, picture that we've got going on here, sharing the screen, we have got the personal development, part of the personal power project, and we are focusing mostly here on setting goals. Now, you know, everybody's heard about setting goals, not rocket science, but you know what actually is rocket science is making setting goals a habit. Very hard to do. And, you know, if we only took five minutes a week, spent a little bit of time on our goals, what we start finding out here is we have a huge shift in the things that we're accomplishing, the things that we want, the dreams that we create, the realities that come true. Um, really fantastic stuff. So uh, that's what we're doing here at the Personal Power Project with personal development and goal. Goal setting, making it a habit. So uh, you'll notice that we have a link here, Personal Power Project uh, meetings. That will take you back to the Personal Power Project website. And we'll start recording some of this stuff and, uh, you know, leaving this up here for other people to look at so they start getting an idea of what we're doing. We do have a link there also back to our marketing for Social Zing. It's a great thing that's helping lots of people begin to develop their business uh, using this marketing program. So you'll see that. You can get back to that on the Santa Barbara Computing.com website. So uh, let's take a, a little look here. First, I want to just look, make sure uh, where we're at. Okay, and we are recording this. And we're going to go over to this location here with the uh, podio. Now, this is something that probably some of you haven't seen. And what we're doing is we're using a program that's by the same company that makes GoToMeeting, and it's uh, called Podio, podio.com. And I use this for basically a uh, way of tracking the things that I'm doing. It is a client management program, CRM, client CRM, Client Relational Database. So basically, we can have a lot of clients here, and we have a database that we can get access to them and track what we're doing. <clears throat> the nice thing about this program is it's only costing me $9 a month. I can have a 1,000 people that I'm tracking and working with and giving access to this information. It doesn't cost them a dime. They can come on and log on for free because they're just using it as a user, somebody like me who's hosting it, you do have to pay $9 a month. And if you were working, you know, kind of in a company environment where they had the same, oh, what would you say, uh, same email with the same, such as uh, personalpowerproject.com, they would actually, you would actually have to start paying more than $9 per month. But since people are coming in with Hotmail and Gmail and everything else, they don't have to. Now, I'm not real sure if we're going to be able to stop the beep, beep, beep that we've got going on here with this uh, program. And, um, you know, maybe we could do that by turning off my speaker that I've got going on here. Okay, we'll do that for right now. And then we don't have to hear the beep, beep, beep. And see if that makes a difference for now. If I see somebody else come on, I'll turn on my speaker. But the microphone's still on, so we should be able to record everything. And so what we've got here is a way of tracking things. So up here we see these icons. And these different icons are kind of like apps on an iPhone or an Android, where you can go out and you can get these apps and download them and they do different things within this program called Podio, or you can actually create your own, and none of this takes any programming. It's just kind of cut and paste. So for instance, if we go look at the calendar app, we can click on that, and it will pop up a little uh, calendar here, 
And this is the calendar for this meeting. And so other people can get in here that are members of this, and they can look at the calendar and go, oh, okay, so here's our meeting, personal development coaching, and a few attendees, and the date, the 18th of November, 2014. And uh, what we'll be using, go to meeting, and where that link is, uh, what are we covering tonight? Well, let's see. What is most important given we only have a month and a half left, 2014? So we've been working on our goals all year long, from the very beginning of uh, January of 2014, and now we're down to the last month and a half. And we've had a lot of people and a little people and a lot of people and a little people, and it kind of, you know, goes up and down with who we're working with. Nobody's paying for it. It's all free. Uh, people can come and go as they please. Um, but uh, I'll tell you, from what we've noticed, the more we do this, the faster things happen. Also down below here, past meetings, you can see some of the stuff that we've covered in the past. And so that's just a little record of a few things that we've done in the past on this uh, personal development coaching. So the way this works is, as far as goals are concerned, we have, we're going to go back over here to this screen, where we were, kind of back up here, and we have a membership. We, we have links where we can link different things, FAQ for questions and answers, a help desk, inspiration, ideas and moments, stuff with Paul Fink, and Paul Fink is uh, my personal guru for personal development because he's got all kinds of great stuff up out there. And actually, if we go back to the Personal Power Project website, we'll take a quick look at that so you can see where, where this goes. We'll come over to, uh, oh, PPP, Personal Power Project, and if we go in here and we take a look at uh, maybe our meetings link, we can click on that. We'll go to our meetings link. Uh, this talks a little bit about coaching and where we're going to save this particular meeting from tonight. And then if we go over and look at something like, uh, oh, let's go take a look at our menu here, about power of our word. Let's go take a look at the power of our word. Um, and we scroll down this a little bit. We can see the go-to meetings, personal development. It talks about the coaching. And as we scroll down here a little bit farther, uh, talks about what we might charge for some of this stuff. And then we get into Paul Fink. The reason this is of great value is because Paul Fink has been to our Santa Barbara Real Estate Investor Association meetings as a speaker a couple times now. And this is Paul and his wife and his kids. And you can see he's got quite a uh, number of great-looking kids there. And he's uh, he and his wife are doing a great job as parents um, and his information, what he does out there, is, is coach people in all walks of life. He's got uh, degrees from universities for being a, uh, oh, probably a personal development, uh, oh, I don't know if it's uh, psychology, maybe a psychology major, that type of stuff. So he's got a lot of good, you know, training in that area. He's got a lot of good training in real estate as well and very successful in real estate. has been with some of the top people in the world out there, you'll see. And he offers a lot of seminars, a lot of personal coaching, <clears throat> a lot of, you know, books and tapes and CDs and different things to go through. Um, and he's also given us a deal on some of that because if you look at the prices that we've got here on the website... It's actually um, less expensive to buy some of this stuff through our website than it is his, um, mainly because he's given us a break for some of our members of the Santa Barbaria. So this is, you know, some great information. I really find Paul to be a, a great, great mentor, great coach, and you'll really enjoy his uh, personal development coaching. So, you know, I'm kind of on the low end here on the coaching side and happy to help people along to whatever level I can. I'm not Paul Fink. I'm not anywhere close to his level. But, you know, if you get a little bit of information from me and you're ready to move up to the next level, Paul is my, uh, my person that I would recommend you to just because he's such a great person and a great coach and really, really experienced in this uh, area of personal development. 
So that's that's where I'm helping people head in that direction if they choose to to go to the next step. Okay. So we will get back over here on the uh, place where we kind of left off. Uh, we'll close that down. That's our site to log in here for these meetings. And these links up here we were talking about. So I'm going to come back over to members. And when we click on the members icon link, it actually comes up with the different members that we have in here. Now we've had a lot of other people show up, but not actually fill out any of their membership information. When they do, that's when we can really zero in on coaching them along with their goals. And the way this works, once you get in here, and I'm going to use me as an example, because, you know, a lot of people are probably not going to be real excited about showing the world out there their personal you know, goals in life and what they're doing. Um, and that's understandable. You know, the whole world doesn't need to see it. But when you become a member in here for this personal development coaching that I'm offering, it actually is available for each member to see each other. And the reason for that is it helps us network together together. It helps us build teams of people who can actually brainstorm. So, you know, no matter what level people are at, they all have great ideas, great suggestions, and they can be a sounding board for our goals in life and where we're going and uh, come up with ideas of things that we never thought about. Um, they'll come up with something and say, hey, I've, I heard about this, or have you ever tried that? And all of a sudden you'll go, wow, <laughs> I never really even thought about that. That's a great idea. So they'll take a look at each other's goals and we'll kind of brainstorm over it and see, you know, what different things might help get people to where they want to go. What I do is I have one week goals. I have one month goals. I have three month goals. I have six month goals, nine month goals, and 12 month goals. And then each time we accomplish any of those goals, we have an area down here that basically is results and accomplishments so that we can go back and actually look at the things that we've done throughout the year that are most important to us and go, wow, because a lot of times we'll just work, 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 work and think, oh, man, I'm just not getting anywhere in life. You know, nothing's working. Or, you know, you have those days and you can go back and you can look at this stuff and go, whoa, wait a minute here. Look at this year. I did all kinds of things that were really important to me. But the way that I set this up is I say, you know, rather than starting at week one and working forward, from experience of what we've been doing here for a year, what I'm finding is if we start at the 12 month, like say 2015 comes up and we're in January, well, I'm going to be having people actually write up their three most important goals that they would like to complete by the end of December 2015. And once you have those three goals that you know you want to complete, then we work backwards and go, okay, so nine months, what kind of things would we do to try to get close to those 12-month goals? Okay, what kind of things would we do at the six-month point to try and get to those nine-month goals? Okay, what kind of things would we do at the, the three-month point to try and get to the six-month goals? And what three goals of, in a month would we do to get to maybe the three month and what three goals would we do in a week to make it to the one month goals? The reason that I do this is because to do something in a year period, you know, if you were saying, well, I think I'll just put down there at the end of 12 months that I want to dump the trash, make sure the trash is dumped. Now, you and I know that uh, that's something that can happen in a day and it's not going to take a whole year to get that trash out to the garbage. So we aren't going to be putting something that simple in our 12-month goals. The 12-month, and we only want three. I've actually got four in here. But we want to try to keep it down to three so that we don't have too many. Now, I actually do have a spreadsheet in which I might have 50 goals. That's a great idea to make a spreadsheet and just anytime you think of something that's of any value or importance to you, stick it in there, put it in some place, you know, one year, five year, 10 year, 20 year, whatever. That way, as you're going through and kind of brainstorming for the next year, you can say, well, what really is the most important thing that I want to accomplish in a 12 month period? 
you know, some things you know are going to take more than 12 months. Let's say you're younger and you want to have two or three kids and you're 20 years old and don't plan on getting married until you're 30 or something. Well, obviously, that's not going to go in our 12 month in, you know, three, three things in 12 months. That's probably going to go back in the spreadsheet that we don't really work on uh, right now. Uh, but it absolutely is a good thing to do to put it back on a spreadsheet someplace else that, you know, I have a goal when I'm 30 to have three kids or whatever. It's a good place because you need to have a place where you just keep checking that thing full of all kinds of good ideas so that whenever you start to brainstorm and go, okay, here we are this year, what do I absolutely want to accomplish? What do I actually want to create in my life? You can look at all those different things and really get a sense of, oh, yeah, that's right. That's what's really most important to me, and this is going to be the year. I really want it this year. So when you get to that point and you get three, the reason I pick three is because that way we're not totally distracted with too many things. Now, you know, as the year goes on, maybe you might finish that sooner than 12 months and just put something else in there. Or maybe you get to the six-month point and you go, no, nah, you know, I just, I really thought I wanted it. I really don't. And you put something else in there. So all these things are things that you can change as time goes on. It's not about beating ourselves up because we didn't get it or we didn't accomplish it or it wasn't good enough or whatever. The mind will make us, you know, feel like that. But, you know, that's not really what it's about. It's really just about being able to dream and live your dream. Being able to, you know, if you think about when you were probably a child, a, a preteen, <clears throat> and you had all these dreams about all these great things you wanted to be and you wanted to do, and as life goes on, you start getting beat up, and before long, you know, you get to be 60, 70, 80, or whatever age, and you just go, I don't even have any dreams, you know. Well, actually, there's a way to get back to that feeling that you had when you were a child when you were a preteen and you had all this great energy and all this excitement about actually creating something special in your life, you know, what happens is people kind of have a dream and they get to it and they're getting beat up on the way and then somehow, you know, whatever they dreamed about happens, but then they get there and maybe it was a particular job or something and they start going, well, you know, I've been here for three years or whatever and why doesn't it feel as great as it used to or I thought it was going to be, actually what happens is you completed that goal. You completed that dream. And rather than acknowledge the fact that you've completed it and it's time to move on and maybe get another job or whatever you have to you know, move on to, we just kind of milk it and try to figure out well, how we make it feel as good as we thought it was supposed to feel. Well, you know, it did at one time feel as great as it was when we first got it. Because that was a goal at one point, and when we finally achieved it and got there, we were there, you know, and, and we had time to experience it, we had time to live it, and then when it starts to kind of wane, that's a good sign that your goal is pretty much complete and it's time to move on. Most people, first of all, don't even acknowledge that it really is time to move on, and if they do start thinking maybe it is, uh, the fear of the unknown is what starts trapping people, you know, wanting to be secure and not getting out there and doing things that are kind of crazy that you don't know what's really going to happen. So, you know, we start lapsing into this thing called security and give up our excitement and our freedom and our dreaming and our desire to go on to bigger and better things in our life just for the sake of security. And the truth is, it's really not real a lot of security out there in the world, especially if you're working a J-O-B for somebody else, uh, the job, the company can fold, uh, new people can come in, people get laid off, people get fired, you know, even creating your own business, you know, things happen. So, you know, the best that we can do at some point is just keep looking for, well, how do I feel? You know, have I completed this dream? Is it time to create a new one and move on to another? And, uh, you know, keep looking for what it is that makes us passionate about life and making us want to move forward and really find the joy in life. So our goals here are really about having fun, enjoying life, being, in, being inspired about life, 
And so, you know, when you look at your three goals for the year, these need to be not just something that needs to get done, but something that if you actually got to it, you would be so thrilled. It would be the feeling like when you were a child the night before Christmas that you just had all this energy and all these butterflies and you just couldn't wait to wake up the next morning and see what was under that tree and get out there and unbox those presents and find out what was inside of them. Every day that you wake up ought to be like, wow, there are presents out there in the world that I just can't wait to get out there and unbox. I know, you know, what they are <clears throat> and what's in there and what we get to do with it and just enjoy it. So, you know, it's really what we're looking for. We're looking for the things that give us energy so that each night that we go to bed, we kind of, before we go, we look at our, our goals and we go, okay, so I'm going to kind of plan my next day out. We don't go to bed worrying about it, thinking about it. It's already planned out. It's there. Wake up in the morning, refreshed, excited. I already know what I'm going to do. I've got the goals all set up from the night before. Man, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to get it. So that's, you know, a huge difference than going to bed and worried about things and getting up in the morning and feeling like it's Groundhog's Day with Bill Murray and, uh, you know, geez, how do I get out of this? dark city, you know, big difference, big, huge difference. So we have the 12 month goals. We have all these accomplishments and we work our way back. We pick those three goals out and we work our way back and go to nine months and go, okay, so what would it take if I got to nine months and would I be doing to actually make it to 12 months? What would I do when I was at six months? What kind of things would I have to do to actually get me to the 12 months? So as you are working your way back, you know, you could get all the way back to week one and, hey, maybe taking the trash out is something you need to do. The main thing is that whatever you put on your three most important goals for one week, one month, three months, six months, that all those goals have something to do with getting to those three goals at the end of the year. Now, it might not look like there's any relationship for somebody else looking at it, but as long as you can look at it and go, oh, yeah, if I don't dump that trash, I'm absolutely not going to get to the next month and then the six months, the nine months, and the 12. You know, if that's is that it for you, then great. You know, because it's all about you anyway when it comes to getting out of life what you want and, and being excited and having what you want. You know, some people will go through all this real estate stuff or they'll go through all this investing stuff or they'll go through whatever job they've got and really what they want to do at some point in their life is just sit there on a beach with a uh, canvas and paint and that's really the biggest thing that they, they want to do well great that's you know whatever it is if that's your goal that's what you should be working for now who knows maybe when you go do it you do it for a year You'll go, well, okay, that was fun. I did it. That was my big goal. Now I'm going to go create a new goal. So, you know, it's not like you're going to choose something that's going to last forever your whole life. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. The main thing is that as you go from day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year, you're excited. You're happy. You're creating your vision, your dream of who you are, where you're going, who you're being, and just how you're living your life. We're not at the effect of our circumstances. We're at the creation of our dreams and our life. And that's what all this is about. So as we look down here, you know, and I go through my goals, you can see some of these that I've left up on the screen. And a lot of mine are all pretty much real estate related and investing related and building teams for uh, people on marketing and whatnot. But they all have something in common with getting to the next step. You know, I've helped my son and daughter create uh, <clears throat> LLCs for putting, you know, properties that are paid for free and clear into their LLCs so that it helps them through college, helps them build their business, uh, you know, things for me personally that I want to do. Um, so, you know, this last year has been a big thing on refinancing for my wife and I, and we're getting real close to it. You know, if this is a really tough time to get a refinance and a loan for all these uh, 
lenders out there who don't want a loan, uh, and even more difficult for somebody who's running their own business when the game running your business is to show as much write-off as possible so that you pay as little taxes as possible, which is great because you maximize the money coming in, but it wreaks havoc on trying to get a loan because the lenders go, oh, no, 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 no. We want to see somebody at a regular job for two years with no expenses and no credit card debt and not writing anything off and lots of money, you know, in the bank, sitting there doing nothing so that we can trust you're going to pay this loan and this mortgage. You know, that's what they're looking for. And uh, boy, when I was working at the university, I didn't have any problem at all getting loans because that's what they wanted to see. Having your own business, it's a lot different. So, you know, we've spent a lot of time going through all the different things that we need to try to make that happen. And then as that time goes on, I continue to put the accomplishments in here of the different things that we've done. And, um, you know, it really does make you feel like, wow, okay, um, I have accomplished quite a bit. And so what we've been finding is we might put something in as a six-month goal, and we get to the third month, and we go, oh, my God, we've already completed it. And it's not even six months yet. And the way that happens is the law of attraction. What you find out is when you start focusing on something, you start bringing in the thoughts, the possibilities, the people, and as much as it's hard to believe, there are even connections, you know, telepathically that you can have between individuals. You know how you, you think of somebody and you call them up and they go, oh, wow, I was just thinking about you. What a coincidence. Well, you know what? might take us another thousand years to realize it, but it's not that much of a coincidence. We truly are communicating with people, and we don't even know it, and we just think it's a coincidence, but there's a lot more going on that we even begin to allow ourselves to believe, and in this day and age of technology and all the stuff that are keeping us busy with all the communications and the emails and lights and blah, 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 we're probably farther from communicating telepathically with people than they, we were thousands of years ago when we didn't have all these all this stuff going on. And it probably is going to take an age of robotics until we're all replaced by robots doing all this stuff to the point where we get back to where we were thousands of years ago when we didn't have much to do so we can actually start thinking again like we used to. Who knows what it's going to take. But in any case, the law of attraction will absolutely start showing up. And what I found is that most of the time when we have these meetings and people jump on here, just before the meeting happens, they go, oh, I, I never spent any time all week long with my goals and thinking about anything, and the meeting's going to start up, and, and I've only got 15 minutes, and I'm going to spend five minutes real quick and try and go through some of my, my goals, you know, <clears throat> and beating ourselves up because we've only spent five minutes. And the joke is that five minutes that we spend before the meeting is five minutes that we would not have spent per week, especially if we're doing it at least once a week. And when you add up once a week, five minutes for a month, and then you add it up for a year, it's way more time than most of us spend if we weren't spending five minutes a week. And in the process of doing that, all of a sudden goals start to show up and get completed way before we thought they would. My wife and I have looked at each other and went, ooh, this is kind of like uh, really crazy stuff, almost on the verge of scary. <laughs> and it's, it's only scary because when you're not doing it and it starts to work, you wonder, how does it all work? Well, it's just all the law of attraction and focusing, you know? You don't have to spend hours on this stuff. You just have to spend a little bit of time. And what you find is it really does help kind of calm you down and feel like life isn't so confusing because now you've actually got a plan that you get to work on every day of your life just by spending a few minutes a day or a few minutes a week going over there and doing this kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, that's my story on the goals. <clears throat> I didn't have a lot of people show up. <clears throat> Haven't been pushing it. <coughs> this is one of those things where I've been so busy, I just thought, you know, I'm not going to go out and make a big deal about this. Because 
it's actually providing me a little bit of time to get some other things done. And I've seen how it can help people and how effective it is. And we'll get back to, you know, getting more people on this. But uh, what's kind of good about tonight is that there wasn't really anybody showing up. So that I was able to kind of go through nonstop, non-interrupted, and give somebody a chance to look at this and think about it, you know, and see if maybe this is something that uh, you would be interested in doing. People come in for, you know, a few months, hit hard, strong, and then they kind of fade away, and then they might come back. So, you know, <clears throat> it's not like if you start it, you got to beat yourself up because you didn't continue it. Um, come back anytime. That's what we're here for. I'm going to continue to do this because I know it works. And, uh, you know, when you do show up, great. When you don't show up, that's okay, too. I hope you're having fun, whatever you're doing. Uh, but just know that the uh, going to bed at night and getting up in the morning are going to be a lot different when you spend just a little bit of time at night and in the, really at night, kind of putting these goals together. And then in the morning, looking at it and going, okay, here we go. This is what I'm going to do. Now, obviously, there's going to be a lot of disruptions and a lot of distractions throughout the day. Uh, but getting back to this stuff, you know, will keep focusing you, keep bringing you back to what's most important. Because if you don't, you'll never get to what you want to at the very end of those 12 months. So I wish you the best. And I enjoy uh, doing this with all of you who do show up. So I'm going to call it a night. We're going to end a little bit early here. I'm going to uh, see if I can convert this thing, throw it up there on the Personal Power Project website, and this will be one of my first recordings for this personal development coaching and setting goals. Thank you so much for listening to it. Get back to me with any questions.